Hey guys, welcome into this new video from Binance and here in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer your graft Ethereum that is into the Polygon network into the Binance uh, account, this crypto exchange currency. So I'm going to try to be a little specific in here and try to be a little more detailed. So this video might take a while. So in this case, what I want to do is to locate where my graft Ether is. So first of all, as you can see, I have my Coinbase wallet already added here as an extension. Why? Because I already have my graft Ether in here. For example, let's say that you have your Ether into MetaMask or into another wallet. So you just need to head into that wallet where you have your money. For example, let's say MetaMask.io. And once you are in here, you want to download that. So you can add it as an extension here. I'm going to select the support browser, for example, mm -hmm. Chrome. And after that, after I install it, I just need to import my wallet and now we're good to go, guys. So now what I want to do is to uh, enter here into my wallet. So once I select here my wallet and now once I locate my wallet, as you can see, here's my graft ether, which is right here. As you can see, this uh, a tiny symbol here, the support pole. So that means this one appears to work into the Matic into the Polygon uh, network. So I want to scroll down. If you want to send this directly into Binance, you're not going to be receiving that because you need to transfer that from another network. And Binance offers with a smart Binance smart chain or the Ethereum. But that's the reason why we are into the Polygon network. So as you can see, grabbed Ether belongs once again into the Polygon. So we need to use a bridge. And for that, you want to look for a Polygon swap bridge in here into, into your browser. As you can see, I'm into the wallet.polygon.technology. It's going to be taking just a few seconds and we can get started with the Polygon POS chain. So what you guys want to do, first of all, is to make an exchange, make a swap in here from your wrapped um, Ethereum into Ethereum or into another token that can be available inside Binance and then you can send that money, you can send that tokens inside Binance. So before I continue, I want to leave this like that. I want to leave here my wallet, my Polygon um, wallet section and I want to go into the Binance so I can sign in. Once I sign in, I want to go into my wallet and go into my fiat and spot section. Now, as you can see, I have here all my assets available here. So what I want to do is to leave Binance for now. I want to go into the web wallet of Polygon so I can select this option. It says Polygon Bridge. As you can see, it's the second one. And what I want to do is to connect my wallet uh, in order to continue. So as you can see, as you can remember, I was using the Coinbase wallet. So I'm going to select Coinbase wallet. So what's going to happen is there's going to be appearing a pop-up notification from the Coinbase wallet and I need to allow the Polygon technology. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you don't have to worry about that. What I can do is to sign out here from my Coinbase wallet and sign in using the same wallet into MetaMask. So I want to click in here, waiting for confirmation for MetaMask. I want to click into my extension so I can approve this. So now what you guys want to do is to look for, uh, once again, I already signed into my account in here, here's my wallet. And what I want to do here after I select a Polygon bridge and here into my wallet, I want to go into the settings section and where it says default network, I want to look for the Polygon network. So once I'm in here, I want to reload the page once again so you can look for your graft Ethereum now let's get into Wetrow. Now as you can see, it's the Polygon chain that we just selected here. So here it is our Ether. If you select here the Graft Ether, it's not going to be appearing, but it's going to be appearing here, the Ethereum here, which is right in here. And then you select the amount that you want to make the swap for. Let's say the maximum amount, and you want to change that to the Ethereum change. Once I get into the transfer, it's going to be saying moving funds from Polygon to the Ethereum might take from 45 minutes to 3 hours. So I'm going to go into continue if you're okay with that. The wet route initialize, it won't take any money from us, but the confirmation of the wet route might be taking $5 for uh, the payment of the gas fee. So and the wet route complete is going to be 
casting is um, so much more nine dollars so if you're okay with that just hit into continue if you're not you can cancel that and wait till you can get something else uh, so they can be costing you a little bit s less so as you can see the estimate transaction fee won't take you absolutely anything here it's just the ethereum that's going to be costing us a lot now while this is taking just a few seconds i want to go into the binance bridge so the cross chain bridge solutions let's see here how much are they going to be costing us for making the transaction using i don't know maybe any swap so it's a matter of uh, seeing guys which one fits you the best so you don't have to pay a lot for commissions in our case uh, we're speaking about the gas fee so i want to connect here once again my coinbase wallet you want to change this token from the smart chain of bmv and why is that because this is the most cheapest one at the moment so i strongly recommend you guys to use the vmv chain mainnet so now what you guys want to do is to select here the token from your polygon mainnet in our case remember is the graft ethereum so i want to choose graft ethereum here so this is going to be changed into the ethereum token and once again i strongly suggest you guys to use the vmv smart chain because at the moment this is the most cheapest one so i'm going to go into the web to balance here going to go to continue as you can see in my case i don't have like enough tokens to continue but you guys just go ahead and go into continue now as you can see the cross chain fee is that one percent of the total amount that you're going to be sending and the minimum cross chain fee is dot one dot eight matic so this one will let me because i don't have enough balance here for making the transaction so i want to go into my coinbase i want to check how much that i have here into my account as you can see i don't have a bit of a much in here into the ia so i just have like less than two dollars so it just won't let me uh go ahead to the transaction here so i want to put into the ia you might see that your graft ethereum is now into the vmv smart chain so once you have that you can go back into the binance account i want to go back into my binance so once i am in here remember that we were into our wallet and then you want to hit into the feed and spot section and what i want to do is to select for the token that i want to receive so let's go from the graft ethereum which is right in here you can select that now as you can see i don't have the option to receive that token so what you can do is to go into your um into your metamask into the wall you are in let's go into the smart chain you might see that your tokens are not available in here if you don't see that you can go to the input tokens and you can just choose the contract address and in order for getting that you have to enter the coin marketcap.com so you can look for the contract that's right in here so after you have your new token you can do the same process in here into the any swap so you just need to select once again your new token from the polygon mainnet the usdc and then you can change that into the vmv smart chain so now that you have the usdc coin you want to go back into uh your into your binance account look for the usdc token here into the coin market cap you want to look for the contract that's right into the smart chain which is actually in here i want to copy this address i want to go back into metamask and what i want to do is to make sure i am into the binance smart chain network i want to import my token i'm gonna paste it and as you can see this will be fitting automatically so i just need to add the custom token i'm gonna import that token and as you can see your money will be now available into your account now what you guys want to do is to go back into the Binance, look for the token once again, in our case is the USDC, and we want to look for the deposit section. Now select the coin, as you can see here is the USDC, and the deposit too, you can choose a network. In our case, remember that we choose the VMV smart chain because it was the very simplest one. So I want to choose the VMV smart chain, and here's the address. I want to copy this address I want to go into my MetaMask account once again I want to look for my token here it is the USDC I want to go into send and I will paste the address which is right in here so what you guys want to do is to put the amount that you want to send remember that you want to save just a little bit more to pay for the gas fee and just go into the next and after that you can go back into your Binance account go into the 
um, wallet fiat in spot and you might see that your money is right away but you might want to be a little bit careful with that uh, with the Polygon network try to use the bridge that will fit for you I strongly suggest you guys to use any swap because it was really it really worked for me guys so you just need to be really careful with what kind of tokens you are sending and what kind of network you are using so you can't lose so that way you don't lose the money just as I did guys so just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this Binance application thank you so much again for watching this video and I'll see you next time guys